Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am here with another Switch game, and this, guys, was most requested in the recent poll I took as far as Switch games. Out of five different games, you guys picked this one above all others, probably because I'm most known for fishing games, but that's fine, that's what I do, guys. Anyway, guys, we are going to take a look at this game, and I will be perfectly honest, I have not played this at all. I'm going to probably bungle my way through it, but we're going to at least get a good start here. My understanding is you really kind of have to start with the career, which is what we need to do here. And the career mode, apparently you have to unlock things through there. Free play mode allows you to play as often as you want any different location only if they've been unlocked already it says right there only for fishing spots already unlocked via career mode so that is important kind of reminds me of um, Jurassic Park world you can't go into the sandbox mode and do anything unless you've already unlocked it in the campaign now this one is arcade version exhilarate fishing contest for up to four people that could be interesting at some point we're gonna go ahead and start the career mode bungle our way through here all right we are it looks like different locations we can work at we've got to start at the Marion Lodge apparently so we got to bring our little arrow over here to Marion Lodge and select it with the A button so mission one Time limit, 3 minutes, 30 seconds. Catch 4 pounds, 6 ounces worth of fish. Oh boy, I don't have a clue on how to do any of this. That's probably not a good thing, guys. I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's go to free play, free play mode. We already know that these... Well, there's at least two of them unlocked. We can go in here and kind of mess around and see how you actually start this before we get into the actual campaign. I mean, I know we need to unlock it, but really? But guys, we have got to figure out how to play this game, and I don't see a tutorial, so I guess we're kind of on our own here. All right, let's see. We are... Going after largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, and bluegill. Apparently there's an advice thing here. Let's do morning. Let's make it sunny. Let's see, recommended. Whoops. It's kind of sensitive there. Uh, we only have the one option. Well, I'm not getting that. If one I understand, this is somewhat arcadey. But arcadey games, especially fishing games, can be, they can be a lot of fun. Now, you can play this in, with different methods. You can basically use both of the buttons with the switch and you're getting you know, a handheld game or I've got this little handheld thing so that I can watch this on my computer you can also use it much like the you know what you used to use Shit. you can also use it in a similar fashion as you used to with Wii's where it's actually held in your hand and how you shake it or move it basically makes it work I'm not going to get to that just yet. I will eventually get there, but right now I think we're just going to try it the old-fashioned way with the B button. See, that's showing it with the motion control. That's for fly casting. We're not doing that. Changing tackle. You change it with the R, the L, R button with lures and flies. Rod and reel the L button. That's what we need to be worried about. Reeling, let's see. 
Weak reeling is the X button. So the top button. Strong is the B button. Says so winding up your line to bring the fish in the water to you is known as reeling. Attracting fish by moving the stick and swinging the rod, among other actions, is important. Each bird fly will move in its own way. So X and B. Top and bottom. Those are your reelings. Hooking, move the left stick in the specified direction. So I guess it tells you. Hopefully it will anyway. And here, when a fish bites a lure or fly, an indicator of direction will appear. Fighting. The action for when the Fish is hooked is when you fish it out of the water is called fighting, of course. When fighting, you will have to reel and move the rod to match the fish's movements. The circle in the middle of the screen is your line tension meter. The distance between you and the fish is also shown on the right-hand side of the screen. So for reeling, as it said, weak and strong. During fighting, line tension is key. If the meter is red, your line is tense. If it's too tense, there's a chance the line will break. So stop reeling. If the meter is blue, the line is slack. It's too slack. There's a chance the fish will be unhooked. So start reeling and tighten the line so you can go back and forth between X and B. Move your rod in the direction the fish is swimming and directing it towards the inside of the meter. When it's inside the meter, the line tension will stabilize, making it easier for them to reel the line in. If the fish slips away from the meter, your line tension will be destabilized, making it harder to reel the line in. If the fish slips away from the meter, an indication of direction will display inside the meter. Okay, that's for co-op stuff. We're not going to be worried about that. Well, hopefully I'll be able to make this work and not make a fool out of myself. So I guess we get started. We go back. Is that what we do? Yeah, that's it. Now let's see. That's the only one we have available to us. We have deep. We have bottom. We have top. The fly is not available yet. So this is what we already have. I think we only have lure fishing. Yep, that's what it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and try the top. We're just getting started. Okay. Beautiful weather. Okay, I'm trying to figure this out here. Okay, so we need to go over here. Move mm -hmm. forward. I'm trying to figure out these controls here. Let me try casting it. I like it. So here it comes. It fell gotcha. There we go. Keep it up. Okay, I think Get I'm getting... Whoa. The line is going to break. Get that fish. The line's going to break. Oh, this is Get tough, guys. Get that fish. That fish. Just a little more. Get that fish. The line's going to break. Get that fish. 
Well, this is not easy. Get that fish. Get that fish. The line's going to break. Get that fish. Get that fish. The line's going to break. Reel it in. He's almost there, guys. Good job. Finally. Woo. Yeah, it was tougher than it looked. Okay, let's see if we can fish somewhere else here. So we can't really even turn around. Let me see here. Nope, we can only fish towards the dock. Let's see... What happens if we cast it here? I like it. Okay, there's a fish right there. He seems interested. I like that. Here it comes. Here it comes. Okay. Let's try a little closer to shore this time. Here it comes. Gotcha. Looking good. Looks like another large or smallmouth bass. Get that this... Fish. Okay, this guy doesn't seem to be as big as the last one. Get that fish. Whoa, maybe not. Just a little more. Get that fish. The line's going to break. That panics kind of easily, doesn't it? Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of this. Good job. There we go. Yep, that's a smallmouth bass. I'm getting the hang of it, guys. Just a little bit of touchy feely, and once you get the hang of that, let me see. I wonder if we could change lures again. No, we don't want to change rods. Let's try... Ooh. Let's try this. Did I get it? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Here it comes. See, this is a bottom one, so we need to let it fall to the bottom. It fell for it. Oh. It fell for it. My fish now. Looking good. Hell, I didn't even have to do anything to pre present it to the fish. He just went after it. Get that fish. Get that fish. The line's going to break. All right, come on, fish. Get that fish. The line's going to break. Here it comes. Okay. Just a little more. The line's going to break. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Get that fish. The line's going to break. Okay, once you get the feel for that those arrows. Get that fish. 
sometimes you still have to back Get off. But... Good job. There we go. I can do better. Another small mouth. This is just the beginning. So far, I haven't gotten anything but small, large mouth. I know there's bluegill down here. Let's let it drop here. It fell for it. Ah, he got it away. fell for it. My fish now. Looking good. Get that fish. Get that fish. Ooh, nice jump, fish. Get that fish! The line's going to break! Alright, fish. fish, jeez. Get that fish! Okay. The line's going to break. He's almost dead, but he is really giving me a good fight. Good job. There we go, we got him. That's the fight. biggest one, I think. All right, I want to catch one more, and then I think I'll move on to the campaign, at least the first mission, guys. This is just the beginning. Okay, let's try changing our lure again. Let's see here. We got bottom. We already did the top. Okay, we're gonna try this this particular one here. Here it comes. Here it comes. Let's let it sink. It fell for it. My fish now. Looking good. Reel it in. Whoa, I think we got us a little bit of a bug there. Okay. He almost, he almost got on the dock. <laughs> Get that fish. Yeah, I think you have to have a different kind a of bait to catch the smaller fish. Get that fish. Maybe unlock them as you go, I don't know. Get that fish. Good job. There he goes. It's too small. This is just the beginning. All right. Well, what we need to do now, guys. Beautiful weather. All right. We're going to go ahead and leave this fishing spot. Then we're going to go back to the main menu. Now we're going to try the career mode. I think if we got that far, we should have no problem. Now what we need to do is, in 3 minutes and 30 seconds, catch 4 pounds, 6 ounces worth of fish. we got to use Popper B. So let's get ready. Let's see what happens.
I'm gonna go with this. This did really well. I like it. Here it comes. A bite. Gotcha. All right. See, it didn't really take that long, so. Get that fish. My problem is he is out of ways. Get that fish. Got three minutes. The line's going to break. Oh, come on, fish, get in here. Just a little more. The line's going to break. That Good sounds run. like he's so panicked. Bigger than nothing. This is a good size. All right, let's go over here and see if we can't get something a little bigger. There we go. That, look, that looks good. Here it comes. It fell for it. My fish now. Keep it up. Okay, let's try to see if we can't get this guy in a reasonable amount of time. But he's going to break. Just a little more. Oh, you bad blessed fish. Get in here. Good job. You put up a good fight. This perfect. There we go. We got it, guys. How long did it take us? One minute, 45 seconds. I'm a fast learner. <laughs> Not bad. I tell you, that is actually kind of fun. Yeah, it is kind of arcadey. But, hey, arcadey can be fun. Well, anyway, guys, that's Legendary Fishing for Switch. And we're going to keep doing this if you guys want me to continue on with this campaign. Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.